Hello friends, welcome back to electromagnetic field theory. Up till now, in this chapter, chapter number 4, energy and potential, we have gone through the concept of how the energy is expended, how the work done is measured and the formula to calculate that work done when a point charge have a movement in the electric field produced because of some another charge. So based on to this concept, in previous videos, we have solved two problems. In the problem number one, we have gone for the calculation of differential amount of work done. In the second problem, we have gone for the calculation of total amount of work done and we have verified that whatever may be the path followed by the point charge in the movement, if the initial position and the final position are same, then the work done will also have the same value. Now, in problem number three that we are going to take in this video, we will be taking the different values of electric field intensities so that there will be the different electric fields to be produced. The point charge will be the same, making some movement into the electric field. So let us see what are the values of work done performed by that particular movement of point charge. So this is the problem statement. The problem statement we have. Calculate the work done in moving a 4 coulombs of charge from point B 100 to point A 020 along the path Y is equal to 2 minus twice X Z is equal to 0 in the field capital E bar is equal to. So the E bar is represented of three types part A high AX cap in volts per meter part B high UX AX cap in volts per meter and in part C high UX AX cap plus phi y a y cap volts per meter. So here we see the electric field is changing from part A to part B, part B to part C. Now what is the given data after reading this problem statement? After reading this problem statement, we come to know that the magnitude of a charge is 4 coulombs. So I can write Q is equal to 4 coulombs. Now this charge make a movement from initial point that is point B having 100 location so it means rectangular coordinates x equal to 1 y equal to 0 z equal to 0 to the final position point capital A having the value 0 to 0 now it is along the path y is equal to 2 minus twice x in z equal to 0 plane we can say so let us begin to calculate what is the amount of work done if this movement occurs in this electric field or in this electric field or lastly in this electric field. So for part A we write the given details. So for part A we have E bar is equal to phi u AX cap unit of measurement volts per meter. We write the formula for calculation of work done. So W is given by minus Q integral E bar dot of DL bar E bar dot of DL bar and the unit of measurement is joules. So now we require E bar. So E bar already given to us in the problem statement. We require Q. Q also we have in the problem statement. Now we require DL bar. So for DL bar in rectangular also called Cartesian coordinate system, we have the general representation for the points B and A here that is DX AX cap plus dy ay cap why because because as we see the movement of charge from point b to a so we see 100 has changed to 0 to 0 it means x coordinate has changed from 1 to 0 y coordinate also have changed from 0 to 2 but z coordinate has not changed so it is same 0 to 0 only that is why in the representation of differential length by dl bar i show only the two terms dx ax cap plus dy ay cap hence i use further the formula for calculation of work done so w will be equal to minus q integral will have the initial position 1 comma 0 comma 0 the final position will have 0 comma 2 comma 0 and the electric field intensity vector denoted by phi ax cap in the first bracket dot product with the second bracket that is of differential length i write dx ax cap plus dy 
ay cap so in the next step we find the dot product multiplication of these two brackets so we shall be getting minus q outside the integral from 1 0 0 to 0 2 0 so here we have that is phi u dx okay provided that y is equal to 2 minus twice x and z is equal to 0 so further we move and get integral minus q uh, sorry equal to minus q integral so this is 1 to 0 phi u dx because the change in terms of x will be from 1 to 0 so integration phi u dx in the next step we get w is equal to minus 4 in bracket phi u x applied to the limits here 1 to 0 so it is so upon applying the limits of x from 1 to 0 we get minus 4 in bracket 0 minus phi u so in term we get the total amount of work done for part a is equal to 20 joules so this is the answer for part a so here we have the problem statement the problem statement was to find the work done in moving a point charge 4 coulombs uh, for the point B to A. So we are solved with part A. Let us focus on to the part B where we have different value representation of E vector that is phi x Ax cap. So let us begin with part B. So for part B we have part B we write E bar is equal to phi x Ax cap given in volts per meter always. So we write the W is equal to minus Q integral 1 comma 0 comma 0 position to the 0 to 0 E bar dot of DL bar. So as we have the same amount of uh, same formula here but E bar will be different in this part B. So to the next step we write minus Q integral from 1 0 0 to 0 to 0 e bar i write phi u x a x cap in first bracket dot product with the differential length represented by dx a x cap plus dy a y cap hence to the next step we have w is equal to minus q integral x is equal to 1 to 0 we have phi u x dx here we solve the integral we get minus q in bracket phi u x square by 2 for the limits 1 to 0 hence this is minus 4 in bracket minus phi u by 2 so upon calculation of the values we get the value of w to be equal to 10 joules so for part b we have obtained the answer 10 joules so as having the same magnitude it has the initial and final position same but the electric field intensity that is electric field itself has changed from phi u ax cap to phi u x ax cap the amount of work done has changed now let us focus on to the part c that is the last part so in part c we have in part c we have electric field intensity vector represented by phi u x a x cap plus phi u y a y cap in volts per meter that are right first of all e bar is equal to phi u x a x cap plus phi u y a y cap in volts per meter therefore i first of all take e bar dot of dl bar dot product taken outside phi u x ax cap plus phi u y a y cap first bracket dot multiplication with dx ax cap plus dy a y cap so this is equal to phi u x dx plus phi u y dy so we shall be using the direct dot product multiplication substitution into the integration hence in the next step we write the formula for work done is equal to w is equal to minus q integral from 1 0 0 
टू जीरो टू जीरो ई बार डॉट ऑफ डी एल बार सो माइनस क्यू इंटीग्रेशन एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन टू जीरो फाइव एक्स डी एक्स एज द फर्स्ट टर्म प्लस इंटीग्रेशन वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू टू इट इज फाइव वाई डी वाई हेन्स वी अप्लाई द इंटीग्रल्स हियर एंड ऑप्टेन माइनस फोर टू बी द मैग्नेट्यूड ऑफ पॉइंट चार्ज द फर्स्ट टर्म विल बी फाइव एक्स स्क्वेयर अपॉन टू सो इट विल बी हैविंग द लिमिट्स वन टू जीरो प्लस फाइव वाई स्क्वेयर अपॉन टू इट विल ऑल्सो हैविंग द लिमिट्स फ्रॉम जीरो टू 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 द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी हैव डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर इन ब्रैकेट माइनस फाइव बाई टू प्लस फाइव इंटू फोर अपॉन टू सो अपॉन कैलकुलेशन वी गेट डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू माइनस थर्टी जूल्स सो दिस वे वी आर सॉल्व विथ प्रॉब्लम नंबर थ्री बेस्ड ऑन टू द कंसेप्ट ऑफ एनर्जी एक्सपेंडेड ऑल्सो कॉल्ड वर्क डन वेन ए पॉइंट चार्ज इज मूड इन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड प्रोड्यूस बाय सम अनादर सोर्स चार्ज सो हियर पार्ट ए बी सी वी हैव कवर्ड इन दिस एज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड रिप्रेजेंटेशन हैज चेंज फ्रॉम फाइव ए एक्स कैप टू फाइव एक्स ए एक्स कैप to phi x a x cap plus phi y a y cap the work done for the same amount of point charge for the same displacement from point b to a has resultants to be the different values so this way we are covered with the work done in the next lecture we will be looking after what exactly the potential mean for a charge in the electric field what exactly the potential difference will be so let us see the details in subsequent lecture thank you